structure of the CD anyway. So basically, and we can start from uh, that park zone that we already have, like the green zones that are already uh, constructed and everything is done, that where people can walk and cycle, whatever. So it goes like this to that point where basically we are now. It's a middle point, uh, like the last point now. Uh, it's just in front of, uh, across uh, the river. Mm -hmm. Then I showed also, like I showed uh, by the, by the invisible line, I showed, I showed kind of the main rivers, where, is, where are they? Oh, sorry, main bridges, sorry, uh, main car bridges. So just to see how many of them and how many, like this tiny blue lines shows like the pedestrian ones. Yeah, pedestrian ones. So and then, like here we can see that there are some main kind of point of attraction. So there's basically it's the Kremlin, the heart of Moscow. Then we're going, we have a Zaredia and we have our site here. So and then we, uh, we added some like more additional uh, points of attraction like museum of uh, military museum. I don't know the proper name, so I just wrote museum. Then it goes the music center, the uh, Philharmonic. Then it goes you know, Spassky Dwar, I also will show you. And then later on we want to add some peaks to make more, to show it this information better. And the final one is the Zil, uh, neighborhood that's going to be developed soon. And they're also going to have all, their own uh, uh, riverside, like walking, I mean, they're going to develop this riverside anyway. So, and basically the idea that we can kind of connect this pass to our location, to our main site, and then we also can extend it. And it's kind of the, uh, basically this map should show that it's not the final, uh, that our location is not the final point, that we can go somewhere else, I mean, we can mm, go ahead. Did we discuss that it's a point of interaction of the yeah. walkable area that yeah, yeah. Uh, and of those green, green belt, let's say, and this one that yeah, actually uh, connects the post-industrial uh, uh, buildings that are being developed? And also, like, if you look deeper, now it's a kind of conceptual map. So, why it's here? Because of some reason, because here, for example, there is one more small, uh, small kind of garden the, where people are going for... Strikes. Strikes. <laughs> <laughs> coming for strikes, but anyway, it's a small garden, it's a small park. Then also, that this place were chosen to, we chose it because of the amount of the cars. Because here, from this side, uh, yeah, be, uh, this side is much better to choose for the walkable path, because from here we will see the Kremlin and it's better view. And from this way, it's also better because of the amount of the cars. So basically, it's kind of not because I want like this, because of the better way, and also because of the connection with our site. That's the most important part, I think. And that's it, basically, this map. And uh, if somebody asked you uh, in conclusion, about, because I think the process of the the, uh, the understanding of the city and the river is fantastic. But let's say, what is your conclusion for the for what we have to do in this building, in this uh, complex place? You, know? you have to you have to make it bigger. Yeah, place. bigger scale. Yeah, say, bigger. following this line, we are going to do something like that. Something. Like what, what for example, do? next map. That's well, it. I think it's better like to continue to show like make a uh, bigger scale. Uh, map of this side of our area properly and to show how this like how this way could be connected with our side and how can it help it? How can it try to, how can it help people to come and that's help, it. Yeah that's, that's it. it. I mean it's obvious things basically but I mean well it's obvious when you know it no? but uh, it's not so obvious when you come from Barcelona so far away you know, might be might be, 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 be agree.